Hey guys, it's Tasha Lenise and I am back with another video. This video is going to be my April reading wrap up. I am doing kind of one part now and then finishing the rest uh the end of this weekend only because most of these are library books and I want to have the physical copy in hand instead of posting a picture. So I'm about to do this right before I turn these books into the library. So we're going to go ahead and get the video started. If you guys would like to see what I'm reading in the month of April, then keep on watching. So we're going to start off with 100 Things We've Lost to the Internet by Pamela Paul. Um, I'm not done with this, but I only have 50 pages and I read 50 pages a day. So tomorrow this shall be finished. If not, What's today? Tuesday? Tomorrow this shall be finished. Um, it's basically talking about little random things that we forgot about, like, you know, the newspaper. And going into just down memory lane before the internet captured us and took over our lives, you know, stuff like that. It's a good book to me. Um, some of the things I'm... Wait a minute. looks weird I don't know. okay some of the things i'm like yeah i do remember that i don't know if that's my i was like i could see the diva ring light anywho that's book number one i hopefully i get at least seven books read by the end of april I got one, two, three, four, five. It'll be six, so maybe eight. We're gonna strive for eight. Um, what you read is not a race. If you read one book, that's fine. If you read 10 books, that's fine. If you don't read this month, that's fine, but try to read at least a page. <laughs> um, reading is fun, is an escape, but we don't want you to get into a reading slump or feel like you have to compete with other booktubers because baby, I'll be looking at these booktubers like y'all read 20 books this month, but then I also have to remember Shay, they work from home. So yeah, um, the next book on my list is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. This was a good book. I devoured it in about four days. Um, it's basically about a girl who works for this perfect family and she lives with them she's a nanny she cooks she cleans this that and the third but she lives upstairs in the attic but she starts viewing things um from the attic and she really thinks the wife is crazy and i think the wife is crazy but then i'm like is the wife crazy then i start thinking like is the nanny crazy like the twist the ending you'll never guess i loved it i enjoyed it so much definitely give it a five out of five i think i like this one better than um behind closed doors which i think is the last thriller that i read so definitely highly recommend and i'm gonna get the housemaid secret which is the sequel to this book so i can't wait huh <sighs> the next book on my list M mind you it is a fantasy i've never read fantasy before in my life um and I told y'all on my book recommendation tag, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it up above in the cards. I told y'all that I would want to read a fantasy, and this was on the list. And baby, Scarred by Emily McIntyre. I ain't even got to look at the name. This is a never after novel, and it is a series, but all these books can be read as a standalone because they are kind of loosely based on fairy tales. This one is loosely based on Lion King. And when I tell you the person that was supposed to be Scar, I was like, am I, I'm not supposed to like him. But baby, I loved him. I, oh my God. Book boyfriend. Add him to the list. His name is Tristan. The main characters are Mac, Mac, bleh. Michael Fass, Fassa, Tristan Fassa, um, well, so, well, Sarah, Sarah, I don't know her last name, Sarah, and Sarah is supposed to be getting married to Michael, uh, okay. 
Sarah is supposed to be marrying Michael Fastfoot. So that's all I'm going to give you. This book was good. Again, I didn't expect the ending, but Trisha and I have you fallen in love, baby. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's a scar. Uh, this is a library book, but I do plan on buying it so I can annotate it. And I'm also supposed to be picking up Twisted. I don't know. I have to, hopefully when I get there, it's there. But if not, you know, let's see what we can do. But 10 out of 10. I love five, five out of five, 10 out of 10. Oh my God. I got it. Oh yeah, I got to update my reading book. I mean, not reading book, my reading book journal. Next, I finished All About Love, New Vision by Bell Hooks. This was kind of a memoir, kind of, I guess, but it also made you look at love a different way. It was really good to me. I'll give it a four, four stars. I'll give it a four stars. Um, I probably could annotate some things, but would I read it again? I don't know. Maybe. But it wasn't bad, though. Definitely would give it a four out of Four out of five. Next, I have The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. I believe this is a series and I believe this is the first one and I believe the next one is The Wedding Party that I have to read. So, um, three out of five. It was, it was good. It was, it was a couple moments where it was like, be for real like girl you doing too much but i mean the romance was good or the spice whatever you want to call it it was good three out of five though i probably wouldn't read it again nothing i read other stuff like i read other stuff by her next is another book that i'm gonna buy and that i'm gonna annotate and that is bad fat black girl notes from a trap feminist by cecilia or cecily uh, Saley Bowen I felt seen I felt heard I felt felt highly recommend this memoir this is a memoir from a girl growing up in Chicago I believe yep south side of Chicago highly highly would recommend this book I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna annotate it to have it in my collection highly would recommend Hopefully, the next part of this video, I'll have more to add to the um, April reading wrap-up. So, yeah, we're just going to wait for the next part. I ain't even going to end the video. <laughs> okay, guys, I told you that I will be continuing this video. And I did add a book. It was the book that I knew I was going to add, which was... If He Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. This book was probably like a three out of five for me. Um, it was good, but I was expecting, like, everybody said, like, oh, my God, I cried over it. Like, it was a touching part. Like, the ending was touching. But, I mean, yeah, it was sad. But I just didn't cry. So yeah but three out of five stars it's a ya it's about two best friends who grew up together um live next door to each other then when they got to high school they kind of um so stopped talking kind of and then they kind of slowly start building their friendship back up and then like something happened to where they don't know if they could be more than friends so three out of five it wasn't bad it was an easy read it didn't take me long to read only about 300 something pages so yeah in total i believe i read eight books for the month of april if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment and please subscribe let me know down in the comment section if you guys have read any of these books if you plan on reading any of these books um, my May TBR is up, so go ahead and check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hit the notification bell because I do post on Mondays, on Sundays, and Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Bye.